して。一枚のプリン出して。こう、写したらね。歯ブラシでやったらおかしいろ。うん、うん、それでやったら。カッコをこうやってして、ほら。まあ、たす。ここだったときね。で。こうして。いや、私、フロートやないとね、これ。<笑>素人やきね。もう一回手で、え、紙をなぞって、はい、こうですか。はい Japanese paper was first recorded as being used in about 700 AD. This means that it was being used about 500 years before any paper in Western Europe, which gave Japan a great lead. It was also produced rather cheaply in comparison to Western paper, and this meant that it could be used for all sorts of, source,、uh, of uses. In fact, to think of it as paper in the Western sense, in other words, as something you write on, is a mistake. Because it could be used for all sorts of things. For example, for communication, obviously, for writing on, for painting on, for making woodblock prints, but also for leisure, for kites, for games, for toys, for wrapping presents in. Also for housing. A, a Japanese house, in many ways, was made of paper as well as bamboo. It was, the windows were of paper, the doors were of paper, the walls were of paper, screens, and so on. It was also used for all sorts of rather strange uses. Clothing, we don't think of paper clothing, but hats, umbrellas,、um, overcoats,、um, dresses, made of paper. But also for even stranger uses to us. Obviously, things like、uh, writing on、uh, special messages. But there was one use which was rather strange, which was if you wanted to murder someone. The paper was so good and dried so quickly that you got a friend who would hold down your victim's arms. You'd wet the paper, and while they were asleep, you'd put it over their face, and they would suck in one breath, and that was their last breath. Traditionally, you would then peel off the paper, let it dry, and write a love poem on it and send it to your loved one, and the police would never discover the instrument of your murder. It was also used for balloons, and in the Second World War, the Japanese tried to bomb America with paper balloons, which they suspended. Unfortunately, most of them fell into the sea, as far as the Japanese was concerned. So you had a lot of uses. These were the advantages of paper. It was a very versatile, wonderful substance. The curse or the disadvantage of paper was just one thing. That was that it developed so well. But it replaced or made an alternative to any other kind of substance, and particularly to glass. Now, if you think of paper, once paper is there, you can't see through it. You can see shadows, but you can't see clearly. The odd thing was that the original materials, which were substances from、uh, plants, look as if you could almost see through them. And you might produce something that was visible. But in the West, you took something which obviously you couldn't see through at all sand, sea sand, 
and through various processes you produce something which made it possible to see completely through and clearly. So the West developed glass instead of paper and from this glass developed all the instruments and techniques and many of the gadgets which we need for science. So Japan got locked into a paper civilization. This was terribly important for its writing, for its communication, for its education system, but it foreclosed one of the great avenues towards knowledge and advancement in the West. In other words, glass. Two other effects of paper. One is that it added to the Japanese, famous Japanese cleanliness, because paper was used in all sorts of cleaning processes. The Japanese invented paper handkerchiefs and used them widely for wiping away sweat and so on. They also invented or used very extensively the first toilet paper in the world, wonderful toilet paper. But the other effect of uh, paper was on Japanese aesthetics. It affected calligraphy, the way in which you wrote, because you wrote with a brush, because the ink was absorbed into the paper. So the beautiful Japanese writing and Chinese writing is affected by the type of paper they had. It also affected the mood of Japan. The great Japanese novelist Tanizaki in his book on In Praise of Shadows says that the light that comes through paper through the shoji is very different from the light that comes in through clear glass windows and it gives these wonderful shadows and depths to the Japanese home. He also noticed that the houses were affected because they had to build deep wide uh, verandas because obviously if the rain came in on the paper it would be uh, dangerous to it. So this is one of the effects, the housing, the lighting, the aesthetics, the art, as well as their cleanliness, their communication system, and their clothing, and uh, even down to their cooking. You could cook with various kinds of paper, was affected by it. So it is a paper-soaked civilization. Soaked is the word that one might use on a day like this.